Hello you beautiful, beautiful people. Today we're jumping into the final season for Series 28, Week 4 of Winter. We're going to be jumping into this week's Forza Thorn Challenges Ultimate Driving Machine. Upon completion, we'll grab 160 Forza points and 5 points towards our festival playlist. And we'll also be hopping over to check out this week's Forza Thorn Shop and then we'll jump back and take a look at this week's festival playlist rewards so if you do happen to be new to the channel definitely consider subscribing smash the like button share the video with a friend without further ado let's jump into this week's forza thon challenges so we'll jump straight into the weekly forza challenges ultimate driving machine kicking things off with chapter one race ready own and drive the 2016 bmw m4 gts a true track focused version of the bmw m4 coupe and limited to only 700 units worldwide. Grab one while you can. Now the rarity of the 2016 M4 GTS isn't just specific to real life, it's also pretty rare in game. This thing is not available at the auto show. Now I actually think this is a slight oversight by Playground Games because the 2016 M4 GTS, like I say, is super rare in game. If we head to the car collection screen and hit select, this car is available from car collection. There's actually no option to buy this car and there's no other way of getting this car other than the auction house, which at the moment is completely empty of the 2016 M4 GTS. Now, as always, I have you guys covered with a cheeky tune. Just search for Gamertag at Skippy4631 or the file name Skippy YouTube if you wish to use it. Share codes for tunes are in the description and in the comments below. So let's get Own and Drive complete, hopping outside into free roam from any festival outpost or player house, driving a couple of seconds down the road, race ready, complete. So with chapter one complete, it is on to chapter two, hitting new height. At the time, the 2016 BMW M4 GTS was the fastest production BMW ever, achieving an accelerating 0-60 to miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and going on to a top speed of 188 miles per hour. Go earn two hard charger skills to really experience this awesome acceleration. Now for this chapter, we're going to be using the motorway that runs down the center of the map. Now to get a hard charger skill, you need a burnout skill followed by a speed skill. So go ahead and bring up the revs of your BMW. Let the brakes go, let the power rip. You should get a burnout skill. Keep that throttle planted. Do not let go until you reach that speed skill in which you are then gonna get a hard charger skill. It should pop up at the top of the screen. Great near miss, great near miss. Go on, give it to me, where are you? Awesome speed. Okay, so it didn't actually flash up with the hard charger skill, but you can see in the chapter progress, one of two complete. So if we go ahead and repeat the process, bring up the revs, let the power rip, get one burnout skill, keep the BMW moving, hopefully earn a hard charger skill as well. And there it is, hitting new heights, complete. And that is chapter two complete. However, it didn't flash up with the hard charger skill, but we did get it complete. A burnout skill followed by a speed skill will earn you those hard charger skills. So let's move on to chapter three, what are you waiting for? A standout feature of the 2016 BMW M4 GTS is its use of a water injection system upgraded to its 3 litre twin turbo straight six, resulting in a power output of 493 brake horsepower and 442 foot pounds of torque. Try to tame all this power by earning three stars at the Ladera Speed Zone. So the Ladera Speed Zone is located just outside of Guanajuato on the south side of the city with a three star objective of 95 miles per hour. I would suggest coming in from the right hand side of the camera or the east side with a starting location of just here. Here we go then, three stars from the Ladera Speed Zone. Fairly decent run up to get as much entry speed as we can going into the camera. My tune for this BMW is four wheel drive, so it makes it a little bit easier. So on the brakes into the camera, so not to miss the first right hander. And the trick to this is to be as smooth as possible, keeping that speed up as high as you can. Like I say, it can be quite tricky being a fairly uh, twisty speed zone, but it, can, it is doable, keeping that speed up 96.37. So it is quite tight to get three stars. I would suggest doing two runs of 85 miles per hour or more, getting the two stars. There it is, what are you waiting for? Complete. 
So with chapter three complete, it is on to our fourth and final chapter, Club Sport. The 2016 BMW M4 GTS comes with an abundance of chassis and weight reduction improvements. And with yours having the optional Club Sport package featuring a striking acid orange roll bars, let's go and win a road sprint race to really put it through its paces. Jumping on into the map then and filtering by road racing events only and this race has to be a sprint race. Circuit races will not work. This week we're going to be jumping into one of the recently added races to Forza Horizon 5. We're going to be using Marigold Sprint. Where I've got a cheeky blueprint for you guys to use if you wish to use it called Forzathon Chapter 4. Unfortunately share codes are currently unavailable for blueprints for me. I'm not sure if this is the case for everyone but just search my gamertag skippy4631 or search up the title. As always with the races for the weekly Forzathon challenges a nice little hack is to bring that driver type difficulty down to Taurus. There's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be and it won't affect the progress on the weekly Forza Thon challenges. Here we go then in the M4 GTS, one of my favourite BMWs to ever be made. These things are super, super rare in real life and it seems to be super rare in game as well. But we are off to a flying lead. Of course, we're on Taurus, so that was to be slightly expected. But hammer down all the way to the finish line and hopefully get that first place. As we head through the final checkpoint that is on to the finish line, first place. And as we head back to free roam, that finishes off chapter four, which in turn finishes off this week's Fortathon Challenges Ultimate Driving Machine, collecting 160 Fortathon points and five points towards our final winter season for Series 28. And let's hop on over to this week's Fortathon Shop. So a quick look at this week's Forzathon shop and one thing to note is the timer in the bottom right hand corner. Two days, 23 hours remaining. I'll get into that in just a little bit as to what is going on right there. But first up we have the 1985 Toyota Torino, not available at the auto show. Going to set you back 800 Forzathon points. A Bugatti Devo is available at the auto show at 3 million credits or you can pick it up here for 700 Forzathon points. Three vanity items, snow jumper, snow knee high socks, 75 Forzathon points for each of those, and a Forza Link phrase, Happy New Year, again 75 Forzathon points. And any Forzathon points knocking around spare, grab yourselves a normal wall spin for 60 Forzathon points. Or you can grab a super duper wall spin for 150 Forzathon points. So what's going on with the two day 23 hour timer? Now last week we saw a special Forzathon shop arrive from December the 24th to December the 26th. This week is going to be exactly the same. So for New Year's, December the 31st running to January the 2nd, we're going to see a four cars added to the Forzathon shop for super cheap. Those cars are going to be the 2021 Mercedes AMG Black GT, 200 Forzathon points. The 1989 Toyota MR2 GT, 150 Forzathon points. The 1980s Subaru Brat GL, 100 Forzathon points. And finally, the 1991 Bentley Turbo R, 50 Forzathon points. To get that special Forzathon shop running from December the 31st to January the 2nd, make sure you keep an eye out for it in case you are missing any of those cars from your collection. That's a chance to pick them up for super cheap. Let's jump back to the festival playlist and check out all of this week's rewards. So if you guys have been putting in the hard work, you should have this series completion complete. You should have the Porsche Mission R, the Koenigsegg Aguera, the GMA T50 and the AM Valkyrie. They should all be in your garage if you've been putting in the hard work. I have, I'm at 192 points out of 300. So moving on to our final winter season, week four of series 28, the dry season, 75 points up for grabs in total for 20 of those points the lotus 340r an exclusive car and for 40 points probably the car people are more excited about it's the lamborghini huracan sto and to be fair it is a pretty hard to find car moving on to the season events this week's online trial grabbing you the zenvo tsrs car restrictions for this week's trial toyota 86 versus subaru brz Two event labs this week, we have an emote up for grabs, get to the chopper, and one Super Bowl spin up for grabs. Our first event lab, gonna be using track toys, and our second event lab, 
going to be using Muscle versus Tuna. Three PR stunts on the festival playlist this week, giving out three Super Bowl spins, the normal reward for the PR stunts. So the Danger Sign base jump, going to be using the Chevy Nova 69B700. Speed Trap Bypass, going to be using the Fair Lady Z94A800. And finally, the Drift Zone Ranchera, going to be using the Ford Focus 17 S1900. Just two season championships to complete this week. Petal to the Metal, going to be giving up the Vol 05RR, going to be using any Lotus A800. And the Ultimate Showdown, going to be giving up the BMW M3 GTR, one of my favourite BMWs. And we're going to be using the Devo versus Jesco S2998. And finally, finishing up the season challenges, Horizon Tour Co-op Championships. No reward, just eight points up for grabs. Moving into the challenges for this week's winter season. One treasure hunt, I set a new high score, 140 points up for grabs. This week's photo challenge, Happy Holden Days, giving out a Forza Link chat phrase, Happy Holidays. Once you photograph any Holden or HSV at the Grand Puente. And finally, for this week's challenges, the Eliminator Battle Royale, Oh, you're approaching me, Forza Link chat phrase, up for grabs. No change on the monthly arrivals, but this is our final week to put in some times on this month monthly arrivals and moving on into the rally adventure events one danger sign canyon snap one super bowl spin up for grabs going to be using the peugeot 205 r and b 700 this championship new year's revolutions giving out the jeep wrangler going to be using the mitsubishi evo b 700 and then finally to finish things off hot wheels events one supersonic spiral speed zone super bowl's been up for grabs going to be using the honda nsxr 92 s1 900 and finally get a groove on going to be giving out a bmw m2 using decades 1970s a800 and that is going to finish up this week's festival playlist and the full festival playlist for series 28 just before we move into series 29 some pretty good rewards on this week's playlist and in the force con shop with it changing on december the 31st so make sure you keep an eye out for that but as always thank you so much for watching any questions about the playlist or the weekly force and changes please do hit me up in the comments definitely consider subscribing smash like button share the video with a friend stay safe and have an awesome day